Hello, my name is Jason Henderson, and I'm a COS alumni. So, I'm from Los Angeles, California. I uh, graduated down there in 2003. Uh, I started taking architecture classes and then kind of got roped into theater and never left from there. Um, it was very, you know, intriguing getting to see all the different backstage elements of theater that I never got to see before. And, uh, yeah, you get to meet a lot of people and get to travel a lot of places. So it's definitely something I love and uh, I can't wait to keep doing it. <laughs> so yeah, so I, uh, I was down there until 2003 and I ended up going to school and taking a few more classes while I was down there. Um, I was having some, you know, family trouble down there. So I decided that since I hadn't seen my dad in a while, I was gonna come up here and visit my family up here and then it just so happened to uh, meet Neil and my girlfriend who was going here at the time and I got adapted into the theater and pretty much never left. <laughs> what is your overall what was your overall experience coming to College of the Siski is like for you? Uh, it was it was very very different just because the pace is so much slower and the interaction that you get as a student to your instructors is a lot uh, more personal than you would get down in LA just because of the amount of people that are in each class. Um, so it's much calmer, much less stressful, um, and just you know, being able to see all the different uh, types of seasons that you wouldn't get down in LA is a very big uh, drastic change, but it was a welcome change nonetheless. What was your favorite part about being a student here at College of the Siskiyous? My favorite part had to be just the people that I got to meet, the few shows that I never got to do before since I've been up here, um, and then being able to take a trade class that I never would have thought I would have taken before. Um, so I took welding that I never thought I would actually use, but then I use a lot more than I think nowadays. Um, and then just getting to further my experience in all of the different technical elements of theater from different from being down in LA with a little different instructor analysis. After I came up here, I ended up getting a certificate for technical theater since I moved up here. Um, I had an associate's degree before I moved up here. Um, and then after that, since I started working on the shows, um, I met Neil, Amy, and Nick, who used to be here, who I unfortunately took his job, uh, basically doing all the different backstage elements here at the college that I started doing down there. But I'm definitely learning more about audio than I ever did since I was down in LA. I got my certificate degree in theater from here um, at COS, and I have met a various amount of people coming here from the instructors to actual students. Um, being able to work here and see the students grow, like myself, in this different area of theater that I'm used to um, is just amazing um, because you really do see people flourish and actually get to learn about themselves through the process of all the different areas of theater. Um, but, I mean, it, it's just amazing to see all the people in their acting style seeing how much they open and are able to relate to people differently than they used to. Um, on the technical side, just being able to see people get hands-on in building sets, doing the lighting, and doing the audio for the actual shows, and then seeing the audience come in and get to actually enjoy the whole full big picture that we all get to put together as a group um, is one of the best things that I've ever seen in my life. Um, but it's amazing just because of the amount of people you get to see, the places you get to go, the different shows that you get to see. Um, it's just one of the experiences that, for me, it's something that I wouldn't change because I didn't get to see that when I was a younger student down in LA. In 2020, 21, I ended up getting my certificate degree from here. Um, and I was learning about more of the audio side and being able to do a lot of the scenery work from the theater, from Nick, who used to be uh, the 
main technical person over here at the theater. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I met him after I met Neil and Amy when I was first being a student, actually getting to work on the Adams Family for our first show here. Um, and then after that, Nick slowly had to uh, leave and go back to St. Louis, so I was already kind of involved more so than I thought I would be. Um, and because I already had an associate's degree, it worked out that they needed somebody to be able to fill in for that specific position. And I figured, since I love doing this so much, I might as well try and give it a shot. And uh, it just so happened that I got the job and I have now been working here as a facilities tech for the last three years, um, doing all the audio for any shows, um, doing all the graduations from outside uh, the school coming in from all the different middle schools and high schools and elementary schools, um, doing all the different plays that they bring into our show, uh, into our theater, and going out to the different schools and being able to help them learn about what our process is and hopefully recruiting them to be able to try and do what we get to do and see how much they love it as well. Okay, if you could describe your experience here at COS in one word, what would it be? Uh, I would have to say it's adventurous because it's definitely new for me on this side of the field, um, but I also got to further my experience and kind of open up more as a person that I didn't think I was actually able to um, when I first got here. Um, and then for any new student coming in that who is interested in theater, um, this is the time to do it. I would say this is the time to definitely come in, get your feelers out, kind of see all the different variations of the process um, and see what you like best. Doesn't mean that you have to make that one of your full, you know, full-time things, but it's definitely not a bad thing to step into and kind of see where it is because there are a lot of people here that will just be able to help you grow and just you know kind of see new things that you might not have seen before and uh, i promise you won't regret it because i didn't <laughs> so uh while i was going to community college at los angeles valley college down in the valley um, i was brought into the student government and the vice president of the actual student government was involved in theater in itself and so she brought me in to come and watch one of her shows and I was sitting in the balcony kind of just watching all the different elements happen and for some reason everything just kind of started clicking about things that I actually started liking to do previously but it was the first time I actually got to see all the elements put together and how much I could actually do just watching in the very beginning and so then they invited me to one of the tech classes and I basically just kind of started doing a few things in there and then never left from 2003 on <laughs> for the most part. What are some things that you've seen that have changed here at the theater just since you've been here in the last few years? Uh, in the last few years, we have definitely tried to um, combine a lot of the different elements of theater um, by using a program called QLab um, to be able to run all of your different sound effects and run everything through the computer so you don't actually have to have somebody specifically behind the board the whole time um, unless you're actually using microphones for your show. Um, we've also uh, are working on upgrading our sound system so it actually is more full and complete than we've had in the last couple of years because we we're finding out things were starting to slowly decline in the process. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we could bring everything up to the 21st century and make sure that everything is more Zoom and accessibility available for people that wasn't more so in the very beginning since I was here. Um, and then just kind of, you know, helping people learn um, the process and just helping them understand that, you know, people really do want you to be here. We want you to be inclusive. We don't want you to feel like you have to um, try something and then go and move on to something else so quickly. Um, we enjoy getting everybody to be here and be a part of it, even if it's something very small, but we really want you to 
feel that this is a place that you can come in and be a part of something bigger than yourself.